everyone, welcome back to Auto House in Naples. I'm Haley and today we have a gorgeous classic car for everyone. But before we get into this, make sure and follow our Facebook, our Instagram, subscribe to our YouTube, click the bell to turn the notifications on, and don't forget to check out our website, autohousenaples.com for all of our current inventory and more information on this beautiful Thunderbird. So what we have today is a car I'm really excited about. I really, really, really love this car. It's beautiful. It's a 1956 Ford Thunderbird, and this is the first generation. The first generation was from 55 to 57, so it was only three years. Um, this is right in the middle. Uh, I, I just really love these cars so much. This one is the Peacock Blue, inside and out. It's absolutely stunning. Uh, from the front, I really like the grille and the front bumper. It's got just such a distinguishable look and even like newer ones like they went back to try and kind of you know re-encompass this whole entire design but I really love the look of it. You've got your classic Thunderbird Club badging on there. There's a few other spots where you're going to find that. You got your Thunderbird logo up here too as well. I really like that um, just the little logo is so cute. There's like little smiling little bird. I don't know. I just think it's a really neat car. Like I just love this car so much. Um, it has the A crate grill that's very um, specific to these cars and these models. One thing I really like about the bumper from further back is you have like, so all of this changed, oh gosh, the planes, all of that changed. In, um, in 57 so they only had this front design and look for 55 and 56 for the first two years and then they kind of changed they dropped these they redesigned the whole entire front bumper um, so it's kind of cool that this is one of the very very beginning um, looks of the Thunderbird because they did kind of change a little things um, after the first couple years you've got these very prominent front headlights they are just so this car is just so cute and this one is so beautiful it's in really really great condition it's been restored really nice um it's just absolutely stunning so it is in this peacock blue it's honestly one of my favorite colors of all the thunderbirds it's bright it's so fun like you can't help but smile when you look at it it's so beautiful um you've got the hood very sleek down here i really like these wheels as well they've got a lot going on in the wheels but they're just they're really fun you've got the white wall tires on here you've got goodyear tires throughout on the car um really great shape it just adds a little bit because you've got this blue and white theme going on they're the perfect tires for this car you've got your thunderbird in the center of the wheel um, it's just a really, I don't know, I don't know what to describe other than it's just really neat. It's just such a cute car. Cute's probably not the right word to describe it. So Ford, um, they never wanted to market it as a sports car. They are always sold it as a personal luxury car, which is exactly what this is. Um, they, it had like a lightweight for its era, you know, it was fitted with the standard v8 engine and the thunderbird was focused more on the driver comfort than speed came out around the same time as like the uh the corvette and everything like that but this one it was about being comfortable and having a fun time riding around which i think that's exactly what it is you have this um hard top roof on here and this is you know has that white so you got this white and blue throughout um, really simple to take off, just a couple latches on there and then you can take that off and cruise with the top down. We're going to leave it on just for, uh, gosh, the car as well, it's like four already. Um, over here, one of my favorite things about the hard top is they added, in 56, they added this uh, porthole window for visibility and, you know, I think it just looks cool, but it does make it a lot more visible when you're inside trying to back up or anything like that. So they added that for visibility. And then again, back wheels and tires, same thing. They're in really, really great condition. Um, everything's in good shape here. Again, love those tires. It just, this car is just such a neat car. It looks really stunning. This particular example is in really great condition as well. You've got your Thunderbird badging on the side love the font and I just like the shape of it the way that um, how pronounced these rear tail lights are 
they just look so neat and you have this circular theme going on um, it's just a really great shape and then again with the chrome bumper one thing that was different too in 56 is they um 55 was the first year but the second year they took the wheel and took it outside of the trunk and so you have the the wheel right there your spare wheel on the outside which gives you more trunk space and they just uh, increased the trunk space in general so they made it a little bit more spacious trunk so to open the trunk we're just going to pull this lever down and the tire the spare tire is going to go back and then we're also going to have our key over here you're just going to pull that open super simple and the trunk has really great space in it i love this matching carpeting inside as well you've got it's really peacock blue all around in this car it's so gorgeous it's a great color on this thunderbird up above here i like this is in great shape you have this sticker on here the original sticker on there i think that looks really neat as well um, it's just such a very um, neat car. It's really a true time machine. It just takes you back in time. You got your uh, gas cap right there as well. And when you close this, you also have your gas cap right there. If you need to get gas in it, you don't have to open up the trunk. And then just close that as well. So super simple to get into the trunk. I, I really like it. It's um. It's kind of unique though it's a lot different than you know obviously cars nowadays but it's such a true time machine when you're sitting inside of it and you're driving around it it's just such a fun car to drive i don't know about anybody else but it makes me you know happy to be sitting in there driving around um let's pop the hood and we can check out the engine so this one we're going to have a little lever in here and we're just going to pull that it says hood on it now it's going to open up the hood for us. All right. So there was two engine options with this car. There was, I believe it was the 292 CI, but this one is the bigger engine. It's the 312 CI, 5.1 liter. It's a Y block V8 engine. Um, it's in really great shape. It's a, fat, you know, it's kind of fun to car to drive. It has, you know, some pep to it. It's, uh, it's, you know, got some speed and it's pretty fun to drive and it's a very smooth ride. Everything here is in great shape. I do love some of the little things on here. I love the, the little horn. Um, you got your Thunderbird on the engine. Again, that little emblem. I just, I don't know. I think it's so precious. Um, everything in here is really cool. You've got like just all like the the kind of vintage you know ford and different like logos in here you've got your classic thunderbird club um another badging in there really neat you've got all these little um i don't know if you can see like you've got these little ford um i think they're like stickers and they might be painted on but you've got all these little like ford little badging things kind of like all over so I think that's really cool. Over here, you've got your little air-conditioned Thunderbird sticker over there as well. That's really neat. Everything in here is in really great shape. It looks great underneath the hood. Let's check out the interior. And again, it's just like the paint is in great shape. They've done a really good job with it. And when you open it up, the interior is just stunning. Now. You've got the same peacock blue and then you've got the matching white. Um, it's just, it's a great color combo. It's really perfect. It's so fitting for the car. The uh, door panels in great shape as well. What I really like about this one is it has the four-way power seat adjustment, which is so rare in a car like this. You've got your power windows. Um, you got all kinds of stuff. This car is truly loaded. It's got all kinds of options and let's hop in here. You also have these Thunderbird little mats too, which I kind of like. I think those are really neat as well. 
And one thing that I think is really neat about inside here is that opposed to other Ford models, this one has a speedometer that goes up to 150. Not that you're ever probably going to take this car anywhere near that, but it's just so neat that it even has that. You know, most Ford models didn't even have a speedometer that went up that high. The speedometer itself is really cool. It's kind of like translucent. I don't know. It's a really neat speedometer. You can see right through it. I don't know, it's really cool. This car is showing 64,478 miles on it. You've got all your gauges right here. It's just such a pretty interior, the wheel as well. It's really just gorgeous. And then you got the peacock blue up here. So the dash and everything is finished. You just have kind of like the white accents in here as well. The door panel up above here on the hard top, the headliner's in really great shape. I like that that's in the white color. It kind of makes it feel more open and bright in here. You do have your little sun visors. Nothing too big. And then there's your latches. So you'll have one latch there and then you'll have a latch on the side and then one on the back and then you can just remove it. It's really simple, easy to take on and off. And you got your porthole windows, give you some extra visibility. It's really just finished in such a beautiful, Beautiful, beautiful color. And I do like right here, you're gonna have your Ford emblem right there on the center of the seat. I think that's a nice little touch. One more thing I love is the key. Again, it has this cute Thunderbird um, emblem on it. I just think everything about this car is so unique and cool. It's really a cute little car. So one thing as well, so we're gonna put the key in, but you do have to have the car in neutral. So put the foot on the brake, put the car in neutral. And then we'll just turn the key over and it starts right up. All right, so let's go for our test drive. Thunderbird. It's absolutely loaded. We have power steering, power seats. Um, thank God we have power steering, power windows, um, all kinds of stuff. The AC and it blows super cold. Thank goodness for Florida down here. We would have been sweating on our drive, but the, the air conditioning is awesome. Make sure and check it out on our website, autohousenaples.com and let us help you drive your dream.